Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we are going to take a look at creating this kind of advanced looking slashy intro into After Effects. Now, before we get started, I'll just show you what are we going to create today. So, yeah. As you can see it looks pretty cool and pretty awesome now to create this effect we are just gonna use one shape layer that's right guys just one shape layer and we are gonna take a look at creating this kind of abstract things that I created you can see just like this and the technique we are gonna learn today is pretty awesome and we can use that technique in various ways so let's just get started pretty quick and I'll show you how to create this cool effect Okay, so here I have created a new composition which is 1920 into 1080, 30 frames, 5 seconds. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go here and turn on my title action safe. Then I'm gonna select the pen tool and right click, create a new shape layer. I'll just zoom it in. And I'm gonna create something like this. Maybe a little smaller, just like this. And set the size to maybe 15 yeah 15 should work good yeah that looks good then I'm gonna hide this action safe okay then I'm gonna go and bring down the properties of the shape layer then go to add and add trim parts this effect or this expression you can see is gonna give us that slashy effect that you saw in the intro you can see so I'm gonna set this to zero as well then first of all I'm gonna keyframe the end properties so to do that I'm gonna click on the stopwatch go to maybe 20 frames forward and bring this up to 100 then I'm gonna go to one second hit on the start stopwatch go to 20 frames forward and go all the way to 100 so now we should have something like this now it looks pretty simple so to give that cool motion what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the end keyframes hit F9 to easy ease them and go to graph editor and I'm gonna select the last keyframe and just bring this up create something like a motion peak you can see so where the peak is high it's gonna be pretty fast and it's gonna come down subtle so it's gonna be slow right over there then I'm gonna do the same thing in the start keyframes so hit F9 to easy ease them and I'm going to create a peak at the end something like this now if I play it you can see we get that cool motion which looks pretty good now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the rotation properties by hitting R on the keyboard and just move this to maybe like minus 45 or rotate this to minus 45 so we should get something like this see pretty simple I'm gonna name this line one okay okay so now I'm gonna create a new square so I'm gonna go to shape layer and just create a square hold alt control and shift or maybe alt and shift will do it something like this big and I'm just gonna play this in the center pretty quick and then I'm gonna select the square and rotate it to 45 so I'm just make it 45 degrees just name this box so that we don't get messed up and name this line 1 okay I'm gonna select this line first of all I'm gonna scale this box a little bit small make it a little smaller okay and I'm gonna place it somewhere around this Yep. Then I'm going to control D to duplicate the line and move this up by hitting the upward arrow key. Just bring this up and scale this or bring the stroke down to maybe 8. Let's just make it 5 maybe or maybe 6 should work good. Yep. Then I'm going to hit control D to duplicate it again and bring this down to somewhere on this. Now you can go totally random with this effect you don't need to be precise at all 
Okay, so this looks pretty good. Let's bring this a little bit. Make as random as possible because the random it's gonna be, the more cooler it will look. Okay, then I'm gonna pre-compose this, select all the layer and hit pre-compose. I'm gonna name this main lines one. Okay. Then I'm gonna go to the main composition area and duplicate this. Open the second line that is the main line comp or the main line comp zero two. You can see. And basically, I'm gonna just displace it and change the positions just to give it an abstract effect. Maybe I'll bring this somewhere around there. And this to somewhere on this then I'm gonna go to the main comp and drag the main lines to just below it just bring this and place this pre abstractly wherever you want and I'm gonna scale this down to maybe 85 or maybe 80 should work good I'm gonna scale the first comp as well so scale down to maybe 85 Okay, this looks pretty good. Then I'm going to select the main line 202 that is and hit control D to duplicate it. So we should have main line 03. Then I'm going to place it again pretty randomly somewhere around this and it depends totally on you. You know, you can just take your time and make it look more cool and more abstract. Bring this again in the comp and scale this down to maybe 40 should look good there we go and I'm gonna place it somewhere on there now you can create as many copies as you want but for the tutorial sake I'm gonna keep this to three copies should work good or maybe four I'll create yep I'm gonna create four so I'm gonna just select this and hit control D scale this down to 20 let's bring this up just to give a random effect, maybe 25. Yeah. So we have something like this. It's pretty abstract and pretty cool. Now we need to select all the comp and pre-compose it again. I'm gonna name this master lines maybe. Okay. Now I'm gonna select the master lines that is in the timeline and hit control D to duplicate it and bring the copy down to somewhere around this maybe this somewhere around there okay then I'm gonna go to master line one in the composition area and control D to duplicate it now the reason I'm not doing control D right in the timeline area and editing it cause if I just duplicate it right over here and edited it then the editing that I do or the variations that I do in this comp will affect the second comp as well so we need to duplicate it in the, this comp area right away that is the project area of course so now we have a master line 2 so I'm gonna go here and what we can do is actually I'm gonna go to main cute and change the color first of all I'm gonna select this and hit fill you can keep any color you want but I'm gonna keep it a pinkish looking color which looks pretty good then what we can do is I'm gonna select the master line 1 or maybe I'll go to the master line 2 and bring this down right over here hit S to bring down the scale properties and I'm gonna scale this to minus 100 so this is gonna give us something like this effect as you can see it looks pretty good then I'm gonna duplicate it again and bring this down hold shift to be more precise and there we go bring this a little bit somewhere around there and this to somewhere around there let's move this a little bit yep looks pretty good I'm going to change the color again so add fill change this to white 
So now we don't want the box, so we can just hide it or delete it. I'm gonna hide it. And there we get the cool abstract looking effect as you can see. So it is pretty easy and pretty cool if you work and create some cool abstract thing, make it look, you know, create multiple copies and make it look pretty intricate and make it look complex of course. Now one more cool thing that you can do with this effect is, I'll show you pretty quick. So I'll just hide this comps and select the main comp, just bring this up in the center. The scale is down maybe a little bit. Well, not the scale, but it'll keep it whatever it is. Okay. So now one more thing we can do is I'm gonna add an effect called mirror. And this is how I created this effect you can see and this effect as well. So to do that, I'm gonna we can just play around with the mirror settings and make sure the point is in the center. Just play around with this setting just like this. Let's just set this to 90. And we get a totally new effect which looks pretty awesome as you can see. You can also create some multiple copies so you can duplicate it and set this to minus 90 maybe. Or well, not 90 but you just create some abstract thing you can see. This effect is pretty awesome. You know you can create some pretty random shapes and add it on in our motion graphics elements you can see which looks pretty awesome you see so yeah that is how I created this my cool looking intro which you can create you know add your text and make it look more intricate make it look more awesome some optical players as well so yeah you can see it was pretty easy tutorial and yeah I hope you have learned something new today and thanks for watching guys if you have don't forget to subscribe comment and like and I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching guys